if you feel this is an easy task pause the camera and pause the video and then solve it yourself but even though i know some of us will get it most of us will still struggle to get the solution welcome to my class let's do this together okay it's very interesting now this is how we go about it we are going to equate we have two equations here right the first one is that 5a is equal to, sorry 5 to the power of a is equal to 1 2 2 5 now the second one is that 7 to the power of b is equal to 1 2 2 5 okay so let's raise this side to the power of 1 over a and this side to the power of 1 over b so we are going to have 5 raised to the power of a raised to the power of 1 over a is equal to 1 2 2 5 raised to the power of 1 over a similarly we will have 7 raised to the power of b raised to the power of 1 over b is equal to 1 2 2 5 raised to the power of 1 over b now according to the law of indices 5a to the power of 1 over a when you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n all you need to do is to multiply the powers together okay so we are going to apply that here and when we do that we have 5 is equal to because this we divide this and we have 5 is equal to 1 2 2 5 raised to the power of 1 over a similarly b we divide b we are left with 7 is equal to 1 2 2 5 raised to the power of 1 over b okay now, if we call this equation 1 and this equation 2, and we multiply equation 1 by equation 2, this is what we are going to have. So, equation 1 multiplied by equation 2, we will have equation 1 is 5 times 7, right? 5 times 7, which will give us 35, is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 raised to the power of 1 over A, multiplied by 1, 2, 2, 5 raised to the power of 1 over B. Now, we have the same base here. So, according to the law of indices, when you have a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y, it seems as a to the power of x plus y, okay? So, you add the powers together and pick one base. So, in that case, I'm going to pick one base, which is 1, 2, 2, 5, 1, 2, 2, 5, right? 1, 2, 2, 5. And we are going to add the powers. That is 1 over a plus 1 over b. Okay, now permit me to clean this. So we continue. We have that 35 is equal to 1, 2, 2, 5 is sentence as 35 squared. Okay. Raise the power of 1 over A plus 1 over B. Now, I want to give you a trick on how I got this without the calculator. We have square root of what? Square root of 1, 2, 2, 5. We give us 35, right? Let's check. Um, If you look at this, we have 5 here. This 5 is what we are going to concentrate on. What number squared? We give you a number that ends with 5. That is 25. That is 5, right? Because 5 squared will give you 25. It ends with 5. So it means that our number or our solution will end with 5. So you are going to cancel the last two digits. Then you have 12 remaining, okay? Now, this 12 now, um, what number squared? We give you a number that is close to 12, but not more than 12. And that is 3. Because 3 squared will give us 9, but 4 squared will give us 16, which is more than 12. So that means our solution is 35. Very easy. That must, um, the math trick is here on my channel. I'm going to drop the link in my bio. Okay, sorry, in the description box. Okay, now we have the same base here as well. Once you have the same base, you can equate the power, right? So that means you can write 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 over A plus 1 over B. Okay, so let's divide through by 2 divide through by 2. Why are we doing that? Because we want to have only this remaining, right? So we have that 1 over 2 is equal to what? 1 over A plus 1 over B. All right. Now let's solve for 1 over A plus 1 over B. So this means that 1 over 2 is equal to the LCM is AB, right? AB. Now when A divides AB, you have B. B times 1 is B. Plus, when B divides A, B, you have A. A times 1 is A. So, you have 1 over 2 is equal to A plus B divided by A, B. So, if we take the inverse of this, it means that A, B over A plus B is equal to 2. And this is what we've been looking for. Thank you so much for watching.